Hey guys, so today's video I'm really excited to show you. Um, so I'm going to like give you a brief synopsis of what this video is about and then I'm going to jump right into it. First, a sip of So, today's video. I'm going to be telling you some of the best underrated book series, in my opinion at least. Um, I never hear anybody talk about them, and they are amazing, and I've spent so much time in these worlds, and there's nobody to talk about them with, so <laughs> if you've read any of these, comment down below, and I will comment back, and I want to talk about them. The first ones that I'm going to start with, though, are going to be the ones that I read in a day. Um... I don't have a lot of the other parts of the series. Some of them I'm missing the first book. Some of them I'm missing the second. Um, it's because they got lost in the move or they're still at my mom's house or I've loaned them to people and nobody gave them back. And that's why I don't loan books out anymore. <laughs> so I'm going to jump right into it. The first one I read, I think, freshman year or eighth grade, so I don't remember a whole lot of it, but I do remember what I took out of this book. Um, I don't know about you guys, but I kind of, like, steal pieces of my personality out of books. I got my love for photography out of this one, film specifically. I'm not much of a digital photographer, but I'm not much of a photographer as it is. It is From Bad to Cursed by Kate, Katie Allender. Sorry. It is about this girl. She's got, like, a lot of mental issues from what I remember. Like, she's scared of things. I don't know. Um, but her little sister becomes possessed, and she's the only one who, like, notices or do, does anything about it. And she has a dark room in her house that her dad made her, I believe. Let me read you the first little bit to catch you. And the chapters are pretty short. Like, the first chapter is literally two pages. Okay, ready? At first glance, the townhouses in Silver Sage Acres are as white and identical as endless row of bared teeth. Look Looking down at the, the single road that winds through the community is like holding up a mirror to another mirror and watching the world curve away into infinity. It's like poetry. It's amazing. I think I'm going to reread a lot of these series this year because I need a good pick-me-up. I'm in a bad reading slump. Um, the next one, please be at least 17 if you're going to read this book. It's the first spicy book that I have, I had read. I have since read a lot more, but this is so good. It is called The City of Dark Magic by Magnus Fleet. Oh, I believe there is three books in this one. I don't know if I read the last one or not. Um, but this one is about this art student or she just graduated from art school and she gets called to go take a job at or at in Prague and oh my gosh this book made me fall in love with Prague so much and I want to go there so bad so bad I have a whole Pinterest board just dedicated to Prague and it's got a map of the city inside its pages. There is a second book. The second book is not as good as the first book, but that's just my opinion. I This one sucked me in. The other one, the world was already built, and I think I was going through something at the time, so I didn't enjoy it quite as much as I should have. I would read you the first paragraph in this, but there's a lot of... Um, Words that I can't pronounce. I'm telling you. Amazing book. Amazing book. These are all 5 out of 5 stars. 
definitely go pick this up. Also, the author does not exist. Fun fact. Um, as you can tell, it is really early in the morning and the sun is coming up. Um, the cats kept waking me up. So, get ready to see a lot of this face, probably different shirts, in the next few videos. The next one I recently read, I read this one so fast and I didn't know that there was a second one. I think there might be a third one. But it is Follow Me Back by A.V. Geiger, I believe. It is a Wattpad, uh, aka Wattpad Sensation, Adam and Jane. Um, this is what it looks like. It's amazing. Oh my gosh. I don't read a lot of fan fiction, and you could tell that this one was fan fiction. But it was so good. Oh my gosh. I. There was Taylor Swift references. It was amazing. Uh, let me... There's no interesting thing in the cover. But, um, it starts in an interrogation room. And... I can't read you the rest because it's gonna give stuff away and I can't give stuff away. And Just go read it. Go read it. It's amazing. Go read it. The next one I listened to on Audible, and I loved it so much I went and bought the first two clumps of books. And it is Shadow Falls. Uh, the series is Shadow Falls by C.C. Hunter. It is about this girl who can see ghosts, and her family thinks she's gone crazy and they send her off to camp and if you know anything about me I've spent all my childhood summers at camp and it holds near and dear place in my heart but it feels just like camp and they got to go for the whole summer and oh, it's amazing it's this is two books in one. Both of these, two books in one. I believe there's six. Six books. And all of them are good. I didn't have an issue with any single one. I blew through these ones when I worked overnight at Walmart. I think in the span of three or four days. So, really good series. Most of this is just me being like, this is an amazing series. I realize that, but they're so good. They're so good. The next one, I don't have the first one here with me, and one of my covers are missing, but it is The Chemical Garden by Lauren DeStefiano. I am so sorry if I butchered your name, but if you ever watch this. But I love this series. I made everyone read this series. And one of the people that I was, like, like reading it with, like, she was in love with it too. She decided not to read the last book. And the last book has so much important details in it. And I struggled so hard not to give it away. And now I wish I had because she stabbed me in the back. <laughs> but, you know... Oh well, I'm I'm the bigger person. I didn't give the end of the book away. It will rip your heart out. It is about this girl who... Well, let me just get started uh, in the beginning. It's about the world. Something happened in the world. I think it was a disease or something. And now all the males die at 25, I believe. And the females die at 23. And... They, she ends up getting kidnapped and married off to this random rich guy who has, like, four other wives. It's really good. Um, it does, my synopsis does not sound as good, but let me tell you, these books had me hooked. And the last one, it, usually I don't read a series unless most of the books are out. I think I waited on this series for 
a good couple of years. And it's so good. And like, look at how pretty the cover is. I wish I could show you the other covers, but inside. Beautiful, but regular part's fine, but oh my gosh. I have yet to see anybody, anybody talk about her or these books. And I love them so much. The next series that I have, I am missing the last book because it is on my Audible. And they changed the cover, so I did not want it on my bookshelf next to these beautiful, beautiful covers. Beth Revis. If you hear me, if you ever see this, why? I love the covers. They're beautiful. But the series is Across the Universe by Beth Revis. Look at them. Oh my god, they're beautiful. I read this one in a day too, but I, it needed to be on its own. It's so pretty. It took me... I read... The first book in a day and the second book, I think it took me about a week because it was finals week in senior year, junior year, something like that. And I didn't read the last one until um, Nakoda and I got together, which was like three years later. But let me show you the inside of this cover. It has the ship in it. I love a good map, even if it is just, like, a spaceship. I also have the arc of the second one in my on my bookshelf, which I bought for, like, a dollar at my local, my old local um, bookstore, which was amazing. Uh, it is about, sorry, it is. <laughs> It is about this girl who gets cryo free frozen, cryo frozen, and she, her name is Amy, sorry, and she ends up waking up before she's supposed to, and her parents are still frozen. Everyone she like knows is frozen. They are on their way to find Soul Earth, which is the new Earth. I think it's Soul Earth. I'm pretty sure. Um, but it is also told in another point of view as well from Elder, who is second in line in charge of the ship. It's been a while since I read it, so I don't want to give anything away. But he... ends up befriending her and it's this whole big thing. There is trigger, trigger, um, of SA in this book. So I suggest not reading it if you're triggered by SA. I made my grandma read this book. That's how much I love this book. Um, and I don't read hardbacks usually and I read this baby in a day. I still haven't finished Midnight Sun because it's a hardback. <sighs> but, um, amazing series. The last one, I'm not going to give that away. That will give it away. Let me just say it's amazing. Even the um, reader on Audible was amazing. Usually if I love a series, I can't listen to it because the person is not the same person as in my brain. That makes sense. But it's really good. It's really good. And my last series is my ultimate favorite. And I'm missing the first book. So Nakoda's going to pop it up like right here. It is the Hollow series by Jessica Verde. As soon as I read the first one, it stole my heart and it never gave it back. But this is what the covers look like and they all match. 
so much. I love this series to the ends of the earth. And it is about this girl. Her best friend dies. Or they think she dies. Her body was not recovered. It takes place in Sleepy Hollow, New York. And she ends up meeting this guy. And he's like a little strange. He hangs out in the graveyard. And he is just so sweet and stuff. And she's going through a lot of trauma. And she finds out that her best friend had a secret boyfriend. And... She goes through her diary and she, it's amazing. It's amazing. 10 or 1 million out of 10. She also makes perfume, which I am hoping to get a perfume making set when I have a bigger house because I just don't have the room for it right now. Maybe if we have an extra bedroom. I just don't want the cats to knock it over. But yeah, anyway, that's that's what I have to say. There's three books in this series. And I think you should read all of these. Um, like I said, I read most of these in a day. So they're very quick reads, at least for me. And yeah, go read these books. Go read them. Anyway, that's all I have for you today. Stay happy in whatever walk of life you're in because that's what matters the most. And I will see you guys next Thursday. Next Thursday. Bye.